Okay, so we're going to do drawing a zebra on black paper. Lovely, lovely black paper. So this paper isn't like the stuff I usually use. I usually use stuff that has a, a bit of a, uh, more of a texture to it, but this one's pretty smooth. So we shall see how it turns out. It could be really, really interesting. All right, I want to definitely, even though it's uh, on a nice paper, and I'll go a little slower, I still want to do my construction drawing first. Just sketch it lightly. Because the lighter I sketch, the less I have to get rid of. Keep an eye on that negative shape. It helps get things, this shape here, into the proper alignment. And if you go up the neck, you can actually go right, you go right up into the eye there. There's this. It's hard because I'm so used to drawing horses, but they're really not horses. They're really different kind of horse creature. This is such a nice high res image. And it's got some basic same things of horses, but there's some differences too. Like I think that their brow ridge seems to be bigger or more pronounced. And then of course we have to I'm not even looking at the stripes right now. I'm just trying to get the shapes. As soon as I start looking at the stripes, it's going to be a whole different ball game. Okay, so tuck it under here. Here. I'm kind of doing almost like a point to point. This ear comes down here. It's interesting how the stripes on his hide go right up into the stripes on his mane. His neck is about here, comes down, not as arched as a horse, a little straighter. And it's really, I would say, it looks like this is where his jaw meets. His neck is quite a bit higher than that, which is surprising. Maybe this should be bigger. I think it should. Well, this is the main here. Yeah, maybe that's all right. Okay. Here's his neck. Kind of droopy lips, actually. Sorry, I have to grab an eraser. So it's like with with the white paper, you get black smudges on it. On the black paper, you get white smudges on it. it is just no easy easy way to stay clean. That is one of the advantages of working digitally though. And it's easier to keep from smudging your work. 
but I still uh, I still would rather draw with a real pencil. Thank you very much. So. So I want to get rid of my construction lines here because I want this to be really clean. So, and as you can see, when you erase it, you do leave white marks, which kind of sucks. So I'll try to minimize that as much as possible. I don't want to damage the surface of the paper. So there's some little here, here. Remember that even on the animals, if you think about the shapes and things sticking out, you can really see the roundness of his eye because we're looking at it slightly to the, their eyes face out to the sides. So we're seeing it on a three quarter angle almost, even though we're looking at him from three quarter front. And over here, They've got eyelashes. That's so funny. And here's the brow bone, and then here's the cheek, and then here's the head. Okay, so trying to I'm gonna try to figure out these stripes now. One, two, three, and that's just a little piece. Four, five, and a double. Then it comes down, and then down. Oop, 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 oop. Let's come up from the bottom now and see if we can meet in the middle. A little bit on his chin, and then there's a, a stripe that tucks around his mouth like so, and up, and like this, and then a broad stripe. Oi! What did I get myself into? I'm actually drawing the white stripes. So you would think you automatically think to draw the black stripes. So, in a way, this is really good practice for looking at negative spaces because we're drawing the white areas and leaving the black areas instead of the other way around. Which is going to make me crazy. But that's okay. I'm already crazy, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's the black, and then we're going to make the white. So. Actually made those too big already. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, back it up. It's okay. I haven't gone too far. Just back it up a little bit. Let's try that again. I'll do this part first. So there's one. Just do one bottom edge. Two. And this one, OK. 
comes up here, splits. Like so. Easy to get lost. Definitely easy to get lost. Gotten lost twice already. But it's cool how the stripes kind of like trace the contour, the surface contour of the creature. Oh, crap. I just filled in the black, filled in the black stripe. It's so hard to, to switch, switch your gears on your brain. Switch gears, switch gears. Think about the outlining the weight. There we go. It's like a little tuck, a little tail. How about the grid? Hmm? I'm putting the grid on it because this is so tough to try to get it. No, I don't want to do the grid. I want to do it freehand. I can do it. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the stripes are probably, I'm probably going to run out of room on some spots and then have to fake it in, but I'd like to try to do most of it. Just, it's a good, it's a good mental exercise. And this has a strange split. I would say this is harder, much harder than the tiger. I'd say so too. Getting students would dare show you their um they've done. Hmm. We'll see. I still think this is a super good mental exercise though. Just trying to remember what you're used to so used to drawing the black. Now you gotta draw the white. So think in reverse. It's kind of interesting mind game. It's like a funny little tip and then
it's almost like he's it's so it's so white and so black it looks like paint on his skin it's so odd Definitely not going to get the same number of stripes across his face. It's just not going to happen. My brain. <laughs> Stripes really do define the shape of his face, though. Yeah, they swirl but all around, and, and and then when we go in and do darker, we'll make them vary, and whether they're on the highlight, like on the cheekbone, or on the shadow part, so that the stripes will modulate light and dark. <clears throat> this is so much more fun than doing. Training. I'm just putting that little soft gray muzzle. All right, I'm going to start going back and forth. I am going to be using the black, even though we're on black. I'm still going to use black just to get those sharp edges. I 
And really, mostly what the black ends up doing is knocking the white off. It really is a good study, like you said, in uh, black. Yeah, just being going back and forth in your brain between the positive and negative spaces. Kayla had to go. That's all right. We're recording. So you see I can use the black to kind of like corral in the white a little bit and work it back and forth. Mm. Not exactly, I know there's a big bigger space here. Like so. Adjust that just a little bit. Good thing I'm not trying to copy a fingerprint. Oh my goodness. So it's a little wider here. So I'll add a little bit extra in here. So you see how even in the using this just black and white, we're getting trying to get some sense of the shape with the shadow, a little bit of just a, a little bit of shadow on the white area. There's basically no highlight at all on the black, or if there is, it's super subtle. And just knock that white down just a little for accentuation of the shadow area. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> it looks kind of cool when I look up at the camera. Squeeze one more stripe in between. <laughs> I've gotten lost again. <laughs> ah, well. It's actually, remember how when we did the other, the horse that was all black, there was a little blue in the shadows, and there's blue on this one too. So we can add some blue, but it's on the white instead of on the black. It's pretty interesting. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah. oh God, it's four o'clock. I'm going to have to stop. Um, we'll have to finish this next time. But I think maybe you get the idea of where I'm going with it, trying to bring out the, the light areas on the high points of the face in the white, adding that extra bit of white to that. But then, um, and then trying to keep some shadow areas under the edge of the highlight. So working with the shape, the stripes, but also with the value of the form underneath. It can be, it's kind of like a weird mental exercise. Probably really good for meditation. Yeah. All right. I'm probably boring everybody to death anyway. So I will finish this up on round two.